for several years, friends uh, in my synagogue choir who were also members of choral arts encouraged me to try out for Scott. And after a while, I screwed up my courage and did. Uh, I didn't get in. Uh, so I called Scott a couple months later, and I, I asked him, uh, you know, was there anything that I could do to improve my singing skills so that I would be able to to get into the chorus. He pulled my file and he went, he said, well, you have good score, you have a good ear. He said, you have a good musicianship. He said, your sight reading is good enough. He said, but you have not been trained uh, to use the resonance in your voice. He said, you're competing against people who are well-trained and uh, you need to take some lessons. He said, take, take two or three lessons, come back and sing for me again. He sent me to Rosa Lamoro and, uh, I had this amazing experience with her, but two lessons turned into, you know, 12, which turned into 20, which turned into about a year and a half of lessons before I screwed up my courage to go uh, back and sing for Scott again. Uh, in my second audition, I finished my solo, prepared solo, and Scott smiled and he said, we'd love to have you. This has uh, meant the world to me uh, to get concrete feedback, to be able to use it, to get better at something, to be in the chorus, to make all kinds of new friends, to have amazing artistic experiences with the National Symphony, with the Philadelphia Orchestra, with conductors from around the world, with all kinds of music that I had never been exposed to as a cellist, which is what I was before. I've just uh, loved being in the chorus.